Hi, this is the Roulette Master, and today I want to show you how to play three bets on the outside at the same time using Martingale. And for today, let's use 1 to 18, even, and red. And we'll start with $10 on each. No more bets. Okay, 15 black. Okay, so we won the 1 to 18, so it goes back to $10. Even, we lost, so we go to $20. And red, we lost, so that goes to $20. No more bets. Okay, three red. Okay, so we hit the one to 18 and we hit red. So we know those are going back to $10 and even it's been two since then. So that's 10 to 20 to 40. That's a $40 bet on even. No more bets. Okay, 28 black. Okay, so we hit on the even. And we hit on, that's all we hit was the even on that one. So it even goes back to 10. And then we're one away from the um, red. So that's a $20 bet. And then one to 18, it's been one away. So that's $20. So we double one. No more bets. Thirty-one black. I think we lost all of them on that one. So... We can count back the one to 18 or two away, so that's 20, 40. And then even is one away, so that's 20. And red is two away, so that's 10 to 20 to 40. No more bets. And you might be thinking, how am I gonna close all these bets out when I'm ready to go? And I'll show you how to do that here soon. Okay, two black, so we hit on even and we hit on one to 18. And we did not hit on red, so on red we're 20, 40, 80 on this next one, because you can count um, how many it's been since the last red by looking at the previous number spun. And then we know the even, and we know the one to 18 go back to 10 because we hit on those ones. No more bets. So that's how, how it's easy to keep track of all three bets, is just by keeping an eye on those previous spins. And 33 black, I think we lost all of them there. So one to 18, that's a $20 bet. Even is $20 bet. And red is 20, 40, 80, 160. So the reason you have to have a good startup fund, uh, I usually start with $1,000. You can also start with 500, but I start with 1,000 just to make sure I always have uh, plenty of money to double. No more bets. So I do have 160 on red this time. All right, and I hit. So see, if I hadn't had a big enough startup fund, if I had had only like say $150 startup, I wouldn't have been able to double that time. So that's really important that you remember that. So we hit on red, we hit on even, and we did not hit one to 18, but we're two away from that. So that's 20 to $40. No more bets. And when I was talking earlier about how to close out the bets, um, this is how you do it when you're ready to close them out. So we did hit zero on that one, which means we lost them all. But first let me, so we're doubling uh, the red, the evens we're doubling to 20, and one to 18, uh, it's 20, 40, 80 dollars. No more bets. And once I hit, once we do this one, I'll show you how to have an exit strategy here. Okay, one red. Okay, so we hit on the one to 18, and we hit on the red. So when you're wanting to exit, the ones that you win, you take off the table. So now that means we only have even left and we're two away from that 30 even, that last even we had. So we know we have a $40 bet on on uh, on even. And we don't have to play red or one to 18 because this is when we're trying to exit and we just hit on those No two. more bets. Okay, 19 red. We lost that one again, so now we're at $80 on even. And uh, again, you can always count down on that. No from more bets. Looking at previous number spun. And there we go. There we got our even at six. And now all three have been uh, cash, have all been winners. And that's when it, it's time to exit. 
and let's see so we won a hundred dollars in just about two and a half minutes there so um, that's pretty awesome and the reason that it's it's that much for just a couple minutes is because unlike normal Martin Gill where a lot of people just play one bet at ten dollars we played three so uh, we basically tripled the amount of earnings that you can make um, you just have to make sure you have a big enough startup fund to uh, to handle the doubles on the bets and um, one cool thing is very rarely are all three in trouble at once so you don't need as big of a startup fund as you might think but you still still need something pretty good i like i said i usually start with a thousand or 500 depending on the day and um but think about how many times you can double and if you can play three on the outside instead of one you can really um, make a lot more money and um, hope you learned something today this is the roulette master and have a great day